Hey, it's uh, Chris here today from Huckle One's Equipment. In today's video, we're going to be talking about flail mowers. Land probably makes a selection of them, uh, right from 48 up to 84 inches. Today, behind me on this Massey 135, we got uh, an FM2572 that we're going to do an overview of. Then we're going to take it out and try it out. And then we're going to compare it to uh, a Land Pride rotary cutter, which is the RCR1272, which is on the back of a B3350. So stick with us. We're going to do an overview of the flail mowers. So when talking about the Land Pride flail mower lineup, they make from 48 up to 84 inch flail mowers. A flail mower is a big drum spinning underneath all those covers, uh, cutting up your material and mulching it up. How big of a capacity it'll cut will depend on what teeth you have under there. There's three options. You're either gonna have hammer, duck, or Y, and that's gonna say, are gonna tell you whether you're gonna be cut a one inch capacity up to a two inch. And basically it mulches it up and tears it up and then spits it out the back with that nice roller there uh, to give you a, a fantastic finish. Uh, much nicer than what you're gonna see on a rotary cutter. In the Land Pride lineup, you're gonna have between 48 and 84 inch uh, with different sizes in between. And it's really gonna come down to how much horsepower you have, whether you know you have a little uh, B series up to an M series, what, uh, what horsepower you have will dictate what size of flail mower you can, can go with. And as mentioned, it is belt driven off the gearbox, again, which is very much different than what you're gonna see on a rotary cutter, which is just uh, PTO shaft right to the gearbox to the blades. Um, so a little bit of an in-between there. So, so yeah, so let's talk about some of the pros and cons of a flail mower. So when discussing flail mowers, some of the pros and cons to them. So starting with the pros first is you're able to offset it. With the Land Pride lineup, uh, you can go between eight and 10 inches. The 72 inch in particular does offset by 10 inches, which is great. Uh, whether you're doing a bush road or your driveway, uh, you, you're always looking to keep things back away so that uh, you're not getting overgrown and have to have some other bigger equipment in to uh, finish it up. So, so that is nice uh, whenever you're doing your ditches and driveways uh, is being able to offset it. And it is very easy. It's just two settings on there, either right behind you or off to the side. Uh, very easy to do. As well as that, it's a finish on it is gonna be way better than what you're gonna get on a rotary cutter in one pass. Again, it's because instead of two blades, now you've got a, a multiple ones there spinning and, and mulching it up. So uh, you're gonna see a much better finish as well as your maneuverability and visibility. Whenever you look at a, a rotary cutter, it, it's way back there. You know, that tail, tail wheel is pretty far away from the tractor. Um, and again, whenever you get to a corner, uh, you gotta make a big sweep to it and can't really back in there and make a nice finish. Whereas this, you can back in, back out, do whatever you want, and it's gonna look magnificent. So maneuverability and visibility are a huge plus on this. Whenever you start moving to the, to the cons on it, the very first one I should mention is being belt driven. That is not a con, but it is for some people. Uh, you know, once you see belts, you're like, oh, you know, it's gonna wear real quick and, and so on. If you're operating it quickly, you're gonna get a great life out of that. You stop, uh, you start, uh, operating incorrectly, yes, you can burn that out in an afternoon, just like you can go tear open a gearbox on a rotary cutter uh, very quickly. So uh, it's a it's a very small con, but it is there, it is belt driven. After that, there is a lot of moving parts. Um, whenever you get into those uh, blades and you start to damage one or two, it's gonna throw it off out of balance and then you're gonna have to stop and replace those blades. Uh, and you're gonna notice right away, there's gonna be some huge vibrations there and it's, it's uh, gonna cause you a little bit of an issue. Whenever you're looking at the equivalent rotary cutter, the cost is gonna be about three to four times higher for a flail mower. And that goes right across whether it's Chinese made, American made, whatever maker model, the equivalent rotary cutter to flail mower is gonna be that three to four times as high. So, so those are some of your pros and cons to it. Uh, so now let's jump right to trying these units out.
Uh, so I'll start off a uh, bit of a comparison speech by saying I am not a Massey Ferguson 135 operator. Uh, you know, my experience level is, you know, two or three hours spread over about 30 years. So somebody a little bit more experienced could probably put that flail mower right through its paces and do a beautiful job of it. But at the end of the day, you can see the difference right here is, uh, you know, you can see with the flail mower, you know, that's what I'm standing on is all beat up. It's, it's comes out pretty well mulched up, you know, it's gonna, it did a beautiful job. Whenever you get to the rotary cutter, did it still cut it? For sure, will you see tufts uh, standing up and everything? 100%. Again, it all kind of comes down to what finish you want to see. Flammore is going to do a great job and get it right perfect the first time, more of a finish to it, uh, where Rotary Cutter is going to knock it down and do it a lot less uh, inexpensively. And again, you can see that right off the bat, right, is that Flammore, you know, has that rotor with a bunch of teeth spinning there, so it, it's hitting that grass three, four, five times before it's spitting it out. Whereas on the flip side, a Rotary Cutter two-blade system, uh, where, where the Rotary Cutter is a two-blade system, and it has to really push that grass down to go over top or, or brush, so you're going to see that tough uh, tougher grass or, or brush pick back up again uh, as those blades has missed it so, so yeah so kind of a quick uh, overview of what the what finishing is going to look like from one machine or the other so, so that brings to the end of today's video again it was nice to bring you the experience of what it is to operate these two pieces of uh, these two implements you're not going to be going to your local Kubota dealership and maybe they have them in stock maybe they don't you're definitely not going to be able to try them out so hopefully in the, in the video we're able to show you what the kind of comparison is between the two and uh, give you that kind of idea. If you're looking for more information on rotary cutters, we do have a couple of videos on our YouTube channel going more in depth on that. So uh, if you're looking to check it out, check out our channel. At that is if you enjoyed today's video, please like and subscribe. If you have any comments, please leave them below. Thank you.